And you can hear it shift. It was played on spheres, so you take it to sphere. It also has harmonics. Chem majors, spherical harmonics, hydrogen. It all goes together. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> of different sizes, you have little spheres and big spheres. And the piano doesn't exist, so it's a computer program, but it's the right idea. So, um, and then the last part of it was on three spheres. Who's running to the three sphere? Take the college semester. Yeah! It's seven points in R4 Dylan. unit distance from Dylan. That's Are you getting it? Oh, uh, let's see. The second piece, the two-part invention, which really sounded horrible, was done on a donut shape. So it's a piano with different tori strings. So little, little donuts, <laughs> big donuts. And you just play it like piano, you know, in theory. Uh, let's see. <laughs> but the Minute Waltz is, is this, this, again, it's a vinyl demo in this, in this bound journal. The Minute Waltz is the quiz. Uh, let's see. So apparently the, like, sort of the bass and quads were done on a standard circular piano. And there are seven other manifolds, seven other shapes involved, and you have to identify them. So they could be tori, they could be spheres, they could be the complex projective plane, the Cayley plane, which was the subject of a Rogers project two years ago, or the quaternionic plane. So that's the quiz. I've never sat down and tried to listen it through, but there's seven things playing at once in that particular piece. So check it out. <laughs> yeah. Happy day when you find that thing in the journal. It's great. <laughs> Thank you for letting me share that. If you want to hear it again, just come on by sometime. <laughs>